Hi, welcome back to In the Kitchen with CCE. I'm Tara Kenyon, a nutritionist at Cornell Cooperative Extension of Broome County. We are here in the commercial kitchen at the Broome County Regional Farmers Market, preparing a dish that uses squash as our featured item of the month at the Broome County Regional Farmers Market. So today we are making a creamy, herbed, roasted butternut squash pasta. And let's get started. First, you're going to need one pound of a pasta of your choice. We are using a organic New York State pasta that you can get right here at our Taste New York store. This is cooked. Two cups of butternut squash. Don't worry about uh, equal sizes. It's all gonna get blended later. A half cup of Gouda cheese. A half cup of ricotta cheese. A third of a cup of Parmesan cheese, maybe a little more to top the dish with afterwards. This dish is using three different fresh herbs. So we have uh, one tablespoon of fresh sage, chopped, two tablespoons of fresh chopped rosemary, two tablespoons of fresh chopped thyme, two tablespoons of butter, about six to eight cloves of garlic, olive oil, some salt, pepper, and some red pepper flakes as well. We also have about eight slices of prosciutto. And when you cook your pasta, you're gonna to wanna to reserve um, some of that pasta water in case your sauce is too thick later on so you can thin it out. So first steps, you're gonna get your oven preheated to 400 degrees, and we're going to roast the butternut squash. So to do that, we'll take our butternut squash, the olive oil, the garlic. You also didn't have to chop or mince your garlic because it's going to be blended as well. Um, all two tablespoons of the fresh thyme. Just half of your uh, rosemary. I'm gonna save the other half for later. And mix that together. Get a half uh, sheet, baking sheets, and we'll want to add some salt and pepper and some uh, red pepper flakes as well. You'll save salt and pepper for uh, to use later on. So once that's all mixed, lay it into the center of your baking pan, and you're going to take those strips of prosciutto and uh, lay them around the butternut squash. And you're going to put this into the oven at 400 degrees for approximately 20 minutes. Check uh, the prosciutto and make sure that um, it's not too crispy, too burnt. You can always remove the prosciutto and then continue cooking the butternut squash for another 10 to 15 minutes if it needs a little longer to be soft. So I'm just going to lay out the prosciutto with the butternut squash. Pop it in the oven for um, the 20 minutes. And while uh, that's uh, cooking, you can get started on um, your sauce, which is going to use the tablespoon, two tablespoons of butter the rest of your rosemary and your uh, sage. You're gonna cook that until the um, butter starts to brown. After your butternut squash and prosciutto have cooked, you can pull that out of the oven. It'll look something like this. You can take your prosciutto and take it off and save it for later. We're going to top the pasta. The rest of the butternut squash and garlic mixture is going to go into a food processor or blender, whatever you have that can really um, blend it to a creamy consistency. And with the butternut squash, you're gonna add the half cup of ricotta cheese. A 
and really make sure it's uh, blended together until it has a nice creamy consistency. Um, we've already blended ours, so it looks something like this. Check on your uh, butter, sage, rosemary mixture. Butternut squash is full of nutrients. It's very nutrient dense. It has a lot of fiber. It has uh, one serving of butternut squash provides about 100% of your daily value of vitamin A. It has a lot of vitamin C to help protect your immune system. The color of butternut squash will suggest that it has a lot of antioxidants, which are beneficial for reducing inflammation in the body, as well as protecting the body against oxidative stress. Adding it to a dish like a pasta dish will increase the fiber content of the dish so that you're going to feel more satisfied, um, stay full longer after the meal, as well as adding a lot more nutrients. And a great way to sneak in a vegetable without uh, the kids really even knowing. So the butter is browned, and we're going to add the butternut squash ricotta mixture. At this point, we're going to want to add more salt and pepper as well. And then we're going to melt the um, Parmesan cheese and the Gouda. You want to make sure you reserve that pasta water because this is going to be a little thick and the pasta water will help to, to thin that out. So add the Gouda. And most of the parm cheese, leave some of it so that you can top the dish after. Mine's looking pretty thick, so I'll pour some of that pasta water. Probably no more than a third of a cup to a half a cup. So it kind of has a consistency like you're making a mac and cheese. And once you're satisfied with how that looks, you can add in the cooked pasta. Make sure it's all combined. At this point, you could still add in some uh, pasta water if it still looks a little too thick, which mine does. And then when you're finished, you chop up the crispy prosciutto to top the pasta. Parmesan cheese, and if you want to reserve some fresh herbs, I reserved a few sprigs of fresh thyme. All right. So I'm going to plate. So it gives the appearance of a macaroni and cheese, but with uh, butternut squash mixed right in. Going to chop some of the prosciutto. Most of these ingredients can be found right here at the Broome County Free uh, Farmers Market, which is open year round every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We have a lot of variety of squash, uh, not just butternut squash, but acorn, delicata, honey nut, spaghetti squash. Top with some sprigs of thyme. And there you have it. We have a creamy herbed roasted butternut squash pasta. We hope you enjoy this recipe and see you next time on In the Kitchen with CCE.